Hey everyone, it's Amy from Sammy's Sweet Life and I've got a grocery haul today. This is actually going to be on top of our actual grocery haul that we have scheduled out in like half a week. This is for filling up the freezer. So I ended up placing another order. Hope she sees herself. <laughs> She's being very vocal. So I did place an order so that I can get a bunch of stuff for our new freezer. And this is in addition to our regular groceries. I only needed a few like regular groceries. And so I got the things for the freezer. I got stuff for the pantry, just shelf stable stuff. It was just a major stock up, no real plans grocery haul. So I'm gonna show you guys it. I will link to the freezer I got if it's still in stock. It was one of the very few that actually was in stock and I've been stocking for weeks. Basically, ever since we bought the house, I've been stocking certain websites, trying to get a freezer that I really like. She just woke up and ate and she's kind of clingy. So I might be holding her throughout this haul, but I wanted to just walk you through everything I got and show you guys what we're gonna stock away in the freezer in the pantry for just whenever. And so let's get started. Okay, Stella is still in my arms, so I'm gonna just walk you through everything. The house is kind of a mess right now, so you'll see like randomness, <laughs> garbage bags, or the, the grocery bags are there. So walking through everything, I got a pack of these cod fish sticks. That was the only actual fish sticks that they had in stock. And then I'm trying to hold this and hold her at the same time. I also got this po' boy shrimp, it just sounded good. And this one I think was marked down, so. I really want to just make like little French rolls. I do have yeast in the freezer so I can make some bread and we can have those as actual little po' boys. And then a bunch of the popcorn shrimps. We really like this for lunches or easy dinners. It's just a great quick thing to have. And she's going to grab the camera. And then I got some randomness for things for the freezer, a cinnamon rolls thing that can go in the freezer. Some of the pork sausage that I really like. I just have to make sure it's a nitrate free version. And then we might see hands going because she's trying to grab. And then this, beer battered crab poppers. It just sounded really good. I was looking through all their like frozen seafood things. I think I'm probably the only one who's gonna eat that because it does have jalapeno and Johnny doesn't like much cheese. So I don't know if he will try them with me or I will just eat them on my own. The one thing I forgot to look at was jalapeno poppers. My time was running out. When you reserve a spot, you get like an hour and I was running out of time. So I just had to check out. But next time I hope to add those to our freezer as well. And then I got some beer battered fish back here. I plan on doing fish and chips one night. Everybody really likes fish. So I think that would be a really good one to have. And then I got some more almond milk. We've been having cereals. Stella's mad I took the camera on the other side. And then some of these from H. Me, southern style chicken nuggets and I also got chicken fries over here so just random chicken things that we can have for easy things and then some stock back there peanut butter one thing of mac and cheese it was a whole grain one some more mayonnaise and some yellow mustard we threw out our yellow mustard so we needed another one when we moved we threw it out and then some soup chips it's just something I don't think to grab but I just happened to see when I was looking for chips they had those two in stock very few chips just like these humongous bags of chips. I went ahead and got both. And then some lasagnas back there, some green beans. They finally had the French cut ones in the freezer. I also got some canned ones over there and some French onions. I thought I might do a green bean casserole at some point. The wipes back there we've already had. And then the cookie dough, we got two different kinds, cookie dough, chocolate chip, and chunk or chocolate chunk and chip and then just regular chocolate yeah. chip and these go great in the freezer they thaw really nice and you could just pop them in the oven and i couldn't believe this safe to eat raw i am so excited to mix this in with ice cream it says right here all the information about it heat treated flour pasteurized eggs ready to eat manufacturing i am so excited i've never seen it like that before i'm a naughty girl i go ahead and eat the cookie dough anyway sometimes if i'm really desperate for cookie dough but i'm so excited i can actually eat it now and not worry about it. And then lots of random freezer enchilada things. I love the H-E-B enchiladas. So I've got some cheese enchiladas, some chicken enchilada verdes, and also more cheese enchiladas. All of these are really good. I've been eating a little more cheese here and there, and it hasn't seemed to affect Stella all that much. Sometimes she will spit up more, but she's not having eczema patches or any kind of problems. Like Livy had pretty severe problems when I ate a lot of dairy. And so I'm just having cheese here and there and that'll be good for me. She is just wiggling. You ready to get down, baby? I wanted to be set down, so we'll see how long that lasts. I also got some corn for the freezer. It's great to throw in various recipes and I had to get my salsa. I just love the Clint's Texas salsa and I have been getting the mild because Lately, the medium has been too spicy, so I've been getting that one. And then I got a different one of these, a carrot cake mug cake last, like a week ago or two weeks ago. It was terrible. I will let 
Libby try it as well and see if she likes them because I did not like them at all. I wanted something else. So I, I'm going to try this one now. Cinnamon roll. I think the other one was a possibly a Duncan Hines. And the one I really liked, I had, I've had Funfetti and I've also had a blueberry muffin one in these box things the same. And they both been really good, but I don't think they were the Duncan Hines. So I don't know if it was just that one variety. It tasted like butterscotch, which um, carrot cake doesn't taste like butterscotch. So it was really off-putting. So I'm gonna try these ones this time. And we might hear vocals. I did need a couple of things for this week. Some more strawberries and an avocado. And then also sweet potatoes. We blasted through all the sweet potatoes because Olivia and Stella went psycho for the sweet potatoes. We just absolutely love them. It's one of their favorite things right now. And then that's gonna be my lunch, California roll. And Johnny's gonna maybe have some with me. He already had lunch. I ran out and got the pickup order while they were having lunch. And then back there, I've got four pounds of shrimp. It was on sale and it was a great price for the shrimp, $5.97 a pound, which is awesome. So I will divide that out into like pound portions so we can have those as meals. And then some freezer bags for various freezer things. He did put a couple of things away real quick, so I will have to dig those out. But I have plans for a couple of things to prep. And then I got some more of the unsweetened vanilla and the protein milk. I love this protein milk. It tastes really good. It doesn't taste like most typical protein milks, and it's really, really good. So I've been still loving that. I bought two of those. Some more sandwich bread. It's the same one I always try to buy. And then beef jerky. I did make it last week, and Johnny and I really liked it, but Olivia did not. She said it was too hard, which it is. It's definitely a chewier jerky when I make it. And so I got these ones. She really likes the, the sweet one here, the honey glazed, and then an old fashioned for us. And then in my grocery haul I'm getting next, I do plan on having some more beef jerky meat if they will allow me to get it. So I will get my meat and my ice cream out now and show you guys that and talk about the meat situation. So these were the last things that he put away. He was finishing getting this out while I fed her. So I ended up getting two packs of meat. They are completely limiting the meat to two packs, like fresh meat, two packs of beef, pork, or chicken. It's not two packs of each kind. It is two completely total. I had already placed my order before the two limit came into effect and I tried to stock up on meat in the other order so I can do some meal prep. I plan on making some chicken pot pies, meatballs, the beef jerky, things like that. So I ended up I think ordering like six or eight different packs of meat. And I don't know that I'm going to get them because of the new rules that went into effect. So I'm really hoping that I can still get the meat. I know since placing that order, a lot of plants have announced closures. And so meat might be in short supply coming up soon, just temporarily while the plants close down. It's not that we're like we're running out of food. It's for the best interest of the workers that closing these plants down. So I understand that, but I was really hoping to stock my freezer and meal prep some stuff so I can have, like I plan on doing grilled chicken and shredded chicken. So I have it in the freezer ready to go and I can just prep a bunch of it at a time and have it ready to go. That's what I've been wanting to do. It's better what I've been dreaming of. I've been wanting this freezer since our last housing disaster. So over three years, I wanted this. So I'm so excited to have it, but now meat is in short supply. So I also scheduled my butcher box early to try to get more things so I can prep and fill up the freezer. I'm sure everything's going to be okay, but I want the freezer full. I've been dreaming of this for years, like I said. I'm trying to slowly work all that in so that I can fill up the freezer and have it organized and stuff and ready to go. And then I also got some ice cream. That other vanilla, it was like vanilla 1905 or something. It smelled like artificial vanilla. I didn't like it at all. The other two love it, but I want vanilla bean, like actual vanilla bean. And so I ended up getting that for everybody. I will have a little bit here and there, but I've been trying to stick with these and I still have one of these in vanilla bean, but I also got the cookie dough coconut milk. I was looking for that coconut milk. And then I happened to see they had this one in stock. So I was super excited. And again, it can just go in the freezer now that I have actual freezer space. And now I think Stella's gonna break down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It was just a really good freezer meal stock up haul. And I'm so excited about stocking the freezer. I've got a grocery haul. I got the normal things I wanted for this week. And then I stocked up on various pantry things and a few freezer things. I knew when I had ordered this a while ago that I would be getting the freezer. So I got a few freezer items just to throw in. And I also wanna make 
some chicken pot pies for the freezer. I got stuff to make that and then the regular groceries and then extra pantry stuff. So I'm really excited to have lots of space in the freezer to start stocking up a little bit more. And I ended up placing that order last week and getting quite a bit in the freezer. So I'm super happy about that. I'm gonna walk through everything. I'll talk about relevant recipes and I'll have relevant recipe links down below for you guys. So we'll start over here. I got most of the frozen things in a pile here. I got baby Normandy blend and also the butter biscuits to do the chicken pot pies. So I will make the shredded chicken. I'll make a roux and mix it with the Normandy blend and then we will cook the biscuits separately and then put them on top. It's just really quick to do it that way. It's a cheater way. And then I've got some things just for the freezer for whenever. Anytizer chicken fries. French fries, they had just like very few choices for that. So we got these shoestring ones. We'll give them a try. And then some more green beans. We love the French cut. So they finally had them this week and last week. And so I've been stocking up a little bit at a time. We go through like one of these a week. So it's good to have an extra. And then back here, I got some rolls and another of the little apple juices I like. If I have a migraine day, I like to make this and drink that. And then two of these pizzas, we've tried these in the past, Midtown Pizza Uncured Pepperoni. I did actually try to get cheese, but they had the pepperoni. And then some frozen veggies. We've been out of frozen blueberries for a long time and they have just not had them in stock for weeks and weeks. So I finally got them and also peaches. I had ordered a big bag and that's what they had, two little bags. And those are for smoothies, milkshakes, and also I'm gonna try to do a peach cobbler with one of those peach bags. Then back here, I got some waffles. We now have room for a big giant thing of waffles. And as soon as I'm done filming, Libby is gonna dive into that. She's been waiting for that one. And then as far as fresh things for the week, I got some of these mini cucumbers. They did not have English cucumbers except for like 350 each. And I just wasn't gonna pay that for a cucumber. So I got those ones. Then some more jazz apples. They finally had them in stock and I was really excited. Hopefully all of this craziness is starting to die down because I'm seeing more things in stock, which is great. And then broccoli, I just got what broccoli they had. They did not have much choice for that. Some avocados in there, lots of mangoes because Livy and Stella both love those and they can finish one of those in a sitting. And then some more blueberries and strawberries more bananas and then I'm done buying baby carrots we're buying regular carrots because we all decided we liked them better and it's just having to peel and chop it's not that big a deal but when they didn't have baby carrots I ended up getting more carrots and we used them and like them actually better so it's a good discovery and then lots of cheese so these ones are just going to go in the freezer for whenever I want cheese topping something that we're gonna bake. And then I'm going to be making Cheddar Bay biscuits with this cheese and the buttermilk. I will link to a recipe I found for that. I've used this recipe before and it's been really good. And then chives, we just have been out for a while and they finally had one in stock. And then Pringles back there, it's just something I happened to look for and they had one. And then juices back there, they've been having my Mighty Mango juice, which has been really, really good. It's just like the Trader Joe's one. And then orange juice back there. Johnny's been really liking having that. Then way back, I've got some more chicken broth back there. I'm gonna start making my own, but I like to have some shelf stable in the pantry as well. And then I was going to do some sort of deep fried thing in it. Right now, I cannot think of it off the top of my head, but I needed peanut oil for that. And I wanted to get like the smaller one. Well, they didn't have that. They had the giant one. So I will just have that in the pantry and we will always have oil for deep frying. And then let's see, back here I've got some blueberries. They finally had the Thomas blueberry bagels, which I'm really excited about. And then some plain bagels back there. And then rice cakes, cinnamon and plain. Libby really likes those. I tried to get some snacks for her that I can just stock in the pantry because she's been blasting through them being home all day and riding her bike two to three times a day. So she's just been eating a bunch at meals and eating a bunch at snack times. And I wanted to have lots of good options for her. And then some more peanut butter. They just substituted this one, which is fine. And then another cherry for the pantry. We already have, I think, one stocked in the pantry, but Libby really likes that one, and so do I. And then some crunchy shells for the pantry. And then I wanna do one cheese recipe. I won't use that whole block for the cheddar bay biscuits. So I will be making either a macaroni and cheese or a shells and cheese. And then the other one is for the pantry, just to stock it. And lots of popsicle options. These ones are great, you just freeze them and they're great little popsicles for kiddos. She loves these, she'll ask for these a lot. But look at the sugar on that, not bad at all for a popsicle and she loves them. And it gives her some protein as well. And then these ones are like, you know, the the pure sugar ones. <laughs> we got some of these. I try to get the little bit healthier ones, even though it's just like concentrated apple juice. But that's the one I buy instead of the ones that have the 
high fructose corn syrup. And then more Uncle Ben's rice, and this has been a dilemma in the house. We have not been able to get white rice. And so I've been buying these box ones. Livy and Johnny both hate the box ones. So these will be my lunch rices or something because they finally said no more. <laughs> They're done with the box rices. So I'll just eat those as lunches or have them as a meal plan or something for some freezer meals for me. And then a couple of baking staples, more butter. I can just put this in the freezer and also more baking chocolate chips. These are just the minis. And then more bread. And this is an issue. I have not been able to find any sort of canned tomato anything except these tiny ones. And I finally just broke down, bought the tiny ones so we can have some spaghetti. I have the meat, I just don't have the sauce. So we're gonna make some with that. I wanna make that tamale pie. That's an instant pot recipe, but I didn't have any enchilada sauce. So I went ahead and bought one of those. I had tried to order one a week or two back and they just haven't had it in stock. So I finally got one and then some more hominy just for the pantry. I wanna do some grilled cheese. So I got these for grilled cheese. Back here, I've got more salsa. I'm just stocking the pantry. I really love that salsa. And then some jalapenos back there. I want to do some sort of jalapeno popper type thing with this. I can't remember the recipe offhand, but it needed jalapenos. Some more almond milk for cereals. I got this one because they were out of the protein one. Some more of this also just to stock the pantry. I think we already have one. And then a half and half to make the mac and cheese. And here I got them a special treat, some mint chocolate chip. It was just the one that they had. And then another vanilla bean for the big freezer. Also some strawberry cream cheese. I was trying to, again, get the Philadelphia one and they substituted this one. So I'll just have to deal with this one again. I just ended up getting them backup mouthwashes. So bubble gum and regular. And then I saw this when I was looking at those. Just a little facial scrub. I'll try that one out. And then more crackers for Libby. Club crackers and Triscuits. And I like both of those as well. And lots of meat. I am going to just go ahead and stick the chicken breasts in the Instant Pot when I'm done filming. And then these are great for grilling. I have been grilling them and then putting them in the freezer. So I've got two things or two packs of grilled chicken ready to go in the freezer now for just easy, quick meals. You can defrost it quick. And then we're gonna do some of the one pan, what is it? One pan fajitas from Sam the Cooking Guy. And then that is for beef jerky. So I've got two packs for that. I also got a mini muffin pan because I don't know what happened to mine, but I don't have one. So I can make little mini muffins for the girls and then lots of baby food and one teether for Stella. And that is it. So like I said before, I'll link to the relevant recipes. I'll link to my foodie playlist. And, and that's Stella. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Have a great day. Bye.